Hello, I'm ready to crush Dakar, but I'd also look normal hopping out of Dakar. Step one, climb Outlander GTX. It looks like and is a competent hiking boot. Now, some people habitually drop motorcycles on their toes and therefore need a motocross fortress. But Nancy, my boots are made for walking, especially when I'm riding somewhere worth exploring. I still drop shit and thus appreciate the shanked sole, armored toe, heel, and ankle. This D3O shin pad is rarer than a respectable footballer. Oh, the inhumanity! <laughs> Brazil's Neymar acting out what appeared to be the death scene from Hamlet. For when foot pegs attack. This is the safest unsafe choice. Five star adventure protection up to here. Any higher and it ceases to be a comfortable hiker. Speaking of, Climb added an upper softer sole. This way it feels normal to walk on while still withstanding serrated foot pegs with a rigid rubber bottom. And the tread? I mean, short of having Bear Grylls pee on it, you can't get more hiking DNA than that. So, exceptional on and off bike value for only... I have more explaining to do. The BOA system ain't cheap. If you want to constrict an entire boot with one finger, you need strong, slippery steel cables. The result is superior and safer, though. You'd have an easier time catching a nun on Tinder than catching these tiny laces on your motorcycle. Another expense is nest fit. How much does it cost to 3D map 20,000 human feet? Me neither, but the fetish artists at Nesfit paid for it, and they found that this contour is most comfortable for most people. My toes feel enveloped, evenly spread, with no bunching or pressure, on one side. See, back when I was too cool for moto boots, I put my skate shoe clad foot into a log at 60 kilometers an hour. So, like a crew of drunken sailors, none of my left toes can quite point due north. Suffice it to say that Nest Fit fits beautifully and decreases foot fatigue by 30% if you have normal shaped feet. BOA, Nest Fit, and of course Gore-Tex's lifetime waterproofing. For those seeking one boot to ride and hike in, this is worth it. Anyone riding way out there will know that way out there is usually wet. But waterproof riding shirts are a rare breed, hence the Revit Bison. It's lined with Hydrotex, a membrane I put my life on the line to test. Woo. 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 Wow, that was terrifying. But we showed that this can handle serious pressure before leaking, more than other brands' membranes and almost as much as Gore-Tex. The waterproofing is built in, so this shirt can be one slim layer, like a shirt. It's barely warm enough at 10 degrees and barely cool enough at 30. But this is Canada, and the only time it gets above 30 is when the Ryans come home. In that case, you have upper back slits. Leave the hidden zipper and the top few buttons undone. Air billows in here and out here. It feels great. Speaking of buttons, these ones are raised and stitched to fabric that is also raised. Even if you're wearing gloves, even though the material is 600 denier thick and abrasion resistant, even if you've never worked as a stripper, you'll be able to unbutton this thing in four seconds flat. Only other notable feature is the Velcro insignia. Professionally, that's so I can remove it and add patches of my own choosing. But personally, I'm just gonna recreate epic debadging scenes from old cop movies. You're an embarrassment to the force. <laughs> Revit's CE1 armor is the best on the market. So slim, you can't even tell my shoulders and elbows are padded. They also consistently cut long, skinny arms, which work for people who hit the gym 0.33 times a year, like me. Another constant with Revit is the pricing. It's always awkwardly more than you would expect. The Climb Switchback Pant is equally costly, perhaps because they budgeted a full promo video and then proceeded to spell the title wrong. Swith Quebec? But I'm still in love because this is basically a Fjall Raven cab, the greatest hiking pant in the world, plus hip armor, knee armor, and some abrasion zones. 
You will get wet in this fabric, but you'll also be dry again in 30 minutes. It's famously breathable, stretchy, athletic. The thigh vents are backed with carbonite mesh, because this hiking pant is still built for crashing. And the lower leg windows can also be opened as a slit for slipping over boots. Also easily and ingeniously, the D3O can be removed from the outside. We've all arrived somewhere fancy and wanted to dismiss knee armor, but in fancy circles, taking your pants off to do so is considered a faux pas. I didn't know, but if I'd had the switchback back then, I might not be banned from Chuck E. Cheese. Remember Revit used a matte reflective to keep their shirt classy? Well, Climb is cleverer. When you cinch the cuff before riding, precisely when you need it, the reflectives reveal themselves. When asked which pockets outdoor enthusiasts need, Climb answers yes. The left ass cheek is a slit, the right is a zipper, the left thigh zips, and the right one buttons. Whatever. I just like having thigh pouches because they don't squish into inaccessible folds while riding. Note that my pants work with my boots, but they'd be a tight fit over anything full height. So I can hike, fish, chill around the campfire, ride back one rainy morning, and go straight to work. At least in my office. If you need riding gear that doubles as business attire, oh, that'll be next time. Thanks.